Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And this week we're gonna be talking about productivity hacks. And I'm gonna show you guys the one thing that I do every single day, whether I'm traveling, whether I'm running around like a crazy person, chicken with my head cut off, or I'm like in my routine every single day. Um, this one tip has changed my life. So roll the intro and we're gonna get right into it. my channel. I am Sydney Lish and I am so excited to share productivity hacks, wellness tips, entrepreneur, business strategies, health, literally everything that I can with you guys. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite productivity hacks that I've been using for a long time, but I've really gotten it down to a science. So I'm going to run you guys through it today and I don't really have a name for it. Let's just call it the, um, the large, <laughs> the large, uh, index card method. Okay. So what I do is I get these abnormally large index cards. Normal index cards are like three by five. I think these are like four by six. It's basically the same as like an average picture frame. And I love these. I don't know why, but they just make me feel like more of a professional. I don't really know, but I get these and get them at any like CVS, Walgreens, Amazon figured out. Okay, and what I do with these every single day is I take one of them, you can see I have mine back here. Um, you take it and you write down, and I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what I, what I put on here to have a productive day. And I actually do this at the beginning of the week as well on these, and I'll run you guys through that next week on how to plan out your entire week. But for the day to day, this is what you're going to do. You're gonna take one of these big stick, or one of the, I call them sticky notes, but one of these big, um, one of these big cards and you're going to write down today's date. So you're gonna write down the date at the top, you know, whatever it helps you track. And I like to actually go back, I save some of these throughout the month. And if I'm wondering if my month was up or if it was down, why? If I look back at these notes, I can usually tell as far as like what I was doing, what I was focusing on for those days. So this is just to keep me on track. So what I do is at the top, under the date, I write three things that I'm grateful for that morning. So it really helps me get in a space of gratitude. I think that life with gratitude, you can't be sad when you have gratitude, you can't be depressed when you have gratitude. It's impossible to feel both of those feelings at the same time. So I write the three things that I'm grateful for. The thing under that that I write is what I'm manifesting today. So what I'm really focused on. So this could be a goal, whether it's a wellness goal, it could be a um, business goal, it could be a relationship goal, it could be a personal goal, and something that I'm really focusing on manifesting into my life. I do a lot of affirmations from Think and Grow Rich um, by Napoleon Hill right now. And so I'm at affirming the amount of money that I'm creating. And it really just helps me reconnect to that vision because I really believe if we're in business, we're doing a lot of mundane activities so we can focus on what we're creating what we're manifesting it helps it become easier on the day to day the next thing and this is the most important step i would say and i actually got this from andy frisella the mf ceo and now he has the real af podcast um, and he has what's called power list so what you're going to do is you're going to take the same note after your three gratitudes, after your affirmations or your, uh, your, you know, sentence that you're manifesting, whatever that may be, just something quick. You're going to write the power five. There's a podcast on this. We can link it below. Um, but the power five is essentially the five things that you are committed to doing today. And if you don't get to these things for me, I don't put my head down on the pillow. Like I do not allow myself to get through the day without doing all five of these things. And in his podcast, he goes into a lot of depth, so I'm not going to hear, but basically you either win or you lose the day. If you get all five things on your top task list done and checked off, you win the day. If you don't get one of them checked off, you lose the day. And the goal isn't to win every single day forever. It is just to win more days than you lose, right? And win more days out of your week than you lose out of your week, win more days out of your month. And if you do that over time, you're going to win your year and you're going to win your life. Okay. So we are going to write the top five tasks and this might not be, this is not going to be projects. Okay. This is not like complete planning an entire event today, unless that's like where you're at in the event, right? This is going to be something like make sure I get my workout in eat three servings of vegetables throughout the day, reach out to five people on my list, check in with three people in my team, right? Move this project forward on this step, right? It's something that you can tangibly do within the day by the end of the day. That's the thing people get 
a little thrown off by with the power five is they're like, they're like complete, you know, make six figures or make, you know, whatever, you know, whatever it is for the day and they get overwhelmed and then they don't finish the task because it's impossible to finish a massive task, right? So maybe today for me, one of my power five was record four videos for YouTube for February. Here we are, right? We're getting it done, <laughs> even though I didn't really feel like doing it. Okay. But no excuses. We're here to serve. Okay. So some other things that are great ideas to put on this power five, like must do's are posting on social media. Maybe it's, you know, adding five stories worth of value on your social media, make a, a main page post. Some other things that I like to focus on throughout the day, especially on social media is creating over consuming. So versus, you know, basically instead of going on and consuming content and getting sucked into everybody else's schedule, be proactive and focus on creating more than you're consuming. So if you're going to go on to social media, adding value, creating first, and then consuming other people's content. So things like that. Another thing that I like to add after the power five, um, if depending on where I'm at with my power five, what I'm focused on in my business and in my personal life and my spiritual world, um, all of those things, I like to add in, especially if you're in network marketing or you're in sales um, and you're hitting certain numbers, is to put those numbers on here too. So how many I actually did versus my goal. So under the power five list, let's say it says, take 10,000 steps a day, drink a gallon of water, um, make sure I do my PVOV workout, you know, uh, reconnect with five team members and enroll one or two new people into my business. Okay. Finish my power five. Let's say I knock it all out. Then I have my new connections that I want to make my asks and my follow up. So again, this is for my business people, people that are in the you know entrepreneurial space online, um, making sure you're making five new connections a day, five new people, make sure you're following up with three people, making sure you're asking three or five people to take a look at your opportunity or present your network marketing company to five people or three people or whatever your number is. So you're going to set the goal. So I'll put like asks, connections, follow ups. I'll put my actual number that I did and my goal number in the morning that I want to hit. Okay. So I just write that out. It just helps me again, be able to look back and reflect on what I've done and what I have not done. And again, if my business is slacking or if my business is booming, I can usually look back to 30, 60 or 90 days. And there's usually some sort of pattern. Okay. Success leaves clues. And if you show your calendar to any top leader, uh, any mentor, they'll be able to pretty much predict your future based on that. So this is a way to really track it for yourself. All right, and then at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, it's good to reflect, right? So we did, did, we did all of our activities, we did our affirmations, we did our gratitudes, we set our intentions, we completed our power five, we won the day. And at the end of the day, what I love to do is I like to reflect. So at the same card, on the same card, at the bottom, I reflect, I go through, okay, what were my actual numbers? What on my power list did I do? What didn't I do? What can I do right now before the day is over? What can I move forward in my life? And then I ask these questions to myself and I just answer them very briefly. Okay, so the first question is, what did you learn today? I'm really big on um, learning and failing. So I kind of like to ask myself the question, what did I learn today and what did I fail at today? I actually heard this from uh, uh, Sarah Blakely who owns Spanx. And she always talks about how her dad used to ask her how she failed today and really encouraging failure because if we're not failing, we're not learning, we're not growing. It's just part of the game, right? But it's staying in it despite that failure. So what did I learn today and how did I fail today? The second question is, when did I feel most aligned today? So what activities were I, was I doing? Was I on a walk and I was really, you know, embodying future Sydney? Was I at a coffee shop and I went up and talked to someone and I felt really outgoing and I felt aligned with the vision that I have for my life at the higher version of myself? Was it that I closed a sale, right? And I helped somebody get started on our nutrition. What, what was it for you? What made you feel aligned? And, and the more we can identify what makes us feel aligned, with the highest version of what we imagine ourselves to be, the more we're going to start embodying those and those ways of being, and the more we're going to become them, right? And that's how we become our future selves. And then the last one, and this is such a great one, um, and one that I've been really focusing on, uh, is what was one random act of kindness that I did today? 
like a random act of kindness, didn't have to promote it on social media, didn't have to share, whether it was just calling a friend up, whether it is um, reaching out to someone and buying them a coffee, whether it's buying the coffee for the person behind me, um, whether it's like giving a dog a treat on the sidewalk, right? What is it? Is it paying someone on the side of the street some money that's asking for money, right? Is it donating something to a charity? Right, what is one random act of kindness that you did today? And one thing I love to do is I like to go on Google and look up random acts of kindness and just get some different ideas. So you can do that. There's probably like lists of 100 or 50 that you can go and you can just work through those each day. And I, what I find is the more that I do those random acts of kindness, even if they're just little, like smiling at someone and saying good morning versus looking down at your feet, right? Where little random acts of kindness spreading joy to people makes all the difference and it fulfills us so much internally. So that is one of my favorites. So just to recap again, we start with our four by six card, right? We write the date at the top. We write our three gratitudes, our um, vision casting, right? Whatever that vision is that we're bringing into manifestation. We make our power five list. We make our three connections or five connections or asks. Right? That's for the people in sales or follow-ups, whatever those may be. Um, the people that we're enrolling, the people we're focused on bringing in, right? People we're developing. And then the last is reflection at the end of the day. You guys, this is how I plan every single day. And again, whether I am crazy traveling all over every three days like I am right now and not able to really stay on track unless I am crazy about this or I am like running in a 90-day sprint with my team, this is how I plan my day. It helps me stay organized. It helps me keep the main thing, the main thing. And it helps me keep growing not only by my business, but myself as a human being. So I hope this was valuable for all of you. If you liked it, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next week. I love making these videos. So if you guys have things you want to watch, things you want to share with people, things you need value, you know, ads in, let me know and I will make them. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.